A 59-year-old Eastwood man has been arrested for allegedly acting as a broker and economic agent for the rogue North Korean regime. The man, understood to have been South Korean-born, has been living in Australia for 30 years and came under surveillance earlier this year after a tip-off from international law enforcement. Australian Federal Police Assistant Commissioner Neil Gowan said the man had been acting out of a sense of patriotic duty to raise funds for the North Korean regime and, if his attempted transactions had been successful, could have raised tens of millions of dollars. This case is like nothing we have ever seen on Australian soil, AFP Assistant Commissioner Neil Gowan said. The attempted transactions related to sale of missile guidance systems and other missile composure and to the sale of coal, to third parties in Indonesia and Vietnam. He has been charged with six offences, two under the Weapons of Mass Destruction, Prevention of Proliferation, Act 1995. The other four are under legislation enforcing UN and Australian sanctions against North Korea. Mr Gowan stressed that there had been no risk to the Australian public and that no weapons, or missile composure had been imported into Australia. This is black market 101, said Assistant Commissioner Gowan. We are alleging that all the activity occurred offshore, and was purely another attempt for this man to trade goods and services as a way to raise revenue for the government of North Korea, he said. This was his goal his actions were all around trying to raise revenue for the government of North Korea. He said it was believed the man had been in contact with high-ranking North Korean officials but gave no other details of how or when the man was recruited as a North Korean economic agent. I know these charges sound alarming. Let me be clear we are not suggesting there are any weapons or missile composure that ever came to Australian soil, nor that we believed that we identified any immediate threat to the Australian community. The allegation in relation to the missile composure is that the man participated in the discussion of the composure, which assists in the guidance of ballistic missiles, from North Korea to other entities. This man was acting as a loyal agent for North Korea. The evidence suggests there had been contact with high-ranking officials in North Korea, he said. However Assistant Commissioner Gowan said there was no evidence, and in fact there was evidence to the contrary that any foreign government officials were involved in the matter. The man was arrested following the execution of search warrants in Sydney on Saturday. He is due to appear before Parramatta Bail Court on Sunday. The charges are the first under the Weapons of Mass Destruction, Prevention of Proliferation, Act.